a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey, Star Wars fans. Thanks for tuning into another figure review. We've got a Black Series one this time after just doing Fennec Shand from the Vintage Collection. Really excited to bring this one, Death Watch Mandalorian. This one comes from Green Rock Comics over in Victoria, down here in Australia. They uh, sent this one out to me earlier this week, and uh, it's looking pretty good, I must say. I'm pretty excited about this one. It is number 21 in the Mandalorian series. It says on the back here, Death Watch Mandalorian, an extremist clan that attempted to take over Mandalore during the Clone Wars. The Death Watch Mandalorians are tenacious warriors embracing the ancient traditions of their people. So yeah, definitely, uh, yeah, definitely a little bit full on, but it was cool to see these guys in live action in the flashbacks of the Mandalorian. The Death Watch logo there on the shoulder, which is gonna be present on the figure. Uh, the figure looks to be made up of parts of uh, both Mandalorian, uh, Boba Fett's helmet, and I think the uh, chest piece might even be a slightly newer pup piece as opposed to just being a copy of Mando. But it does come with a jetpack, which looks to be, could be J Jango Fett's, um, or Jango's new blaster rifle. And a, um, it's not the West Star, that's Jango's pistols, but it's the Mandalorian blaster pistol. So this is gonna be a cool looking Mandalorian. We're definitely spoiled for Mandos these days. And uh, yeah. Long may they continue, but yeah, loving the loving the look of this one. So definitely hope to get a second one at some point. But uh, let's crack it open and have a look at the figure. All right, guys, here is the Death Watch Mandalorian out of the packaging, and this guy is looking absolutely killer. Some fantastic parts to this figure. I think some a lot of reuse. I think there's a slight retool of the jetpack that looks slightly different to uh, some others that we've seen. Very, very much different to Django Fett's. Um, looked to be very similar, but uh, yeah, not so much. Um, and considering I don't have Django Fett on hand, it's hard to compare, but um, <laughs> it looks a little bit different. So this could be a, just a, maybe a slight retool. Um, it's different, I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't quite have the same look to uh, Django's. So I'm gonna just plug that one on his back. Uh, the Boba Fett helmet. Um, obviously that's coming from the same as the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett we've had recently, but this time no sort of funny molding. This is really nice and firm, despite having a head underneath. Um, they seem to have resolved that issue that came with that Return of the Jedi Boba Fett where the helmets were coming warped. So that's a good sign. Um, yeah, this is a really good shape. Looks good. Uh, I think the shoulder pauldrons are new on this figure. They're slightly different to Mando's and any others that we've seen so far. Um, again, they're sort of part of that sort of shoulder joint too, so you can allow him for a lot of extra movement as opposed to just being sculpted onto the arm, which is fantastic. Um, he has a new belt, which is, you know, a couple of pouch pouches, sort of a back armor piece there underneath, um, a gun holster, work for this blaster that he comes with, the smaller uh, Mandalorian blaster. Just gonna move the jetpack out of the way, just to make sure this will fit in nice and snug, which it absolutely does. So that's cool. Looks like looks to be some new boots. I'm not familiar with those before so yeah there is a lot of new to this figure which is great um, so yeah it's not just repaints and retools and all that sort of stuff so the the fire guard armor here um, more than likely is just reused from Mando but I don't know I felt whether it was just the paint I feel like his were a little bit more ding damaged and dented whereas these ones look all right um, but overall this is a cool looking figure. I'm digging this Mando. Really digging this Mando. So let's stand him up. I'm just gonna bring the camera up a little bit higher. So we can look down. There we go. So yeah, really nice. The Death Watch logo on the arm there, which is fantastic. I'm still wanting a pre Vizsla in Black Series. I think we're getting close. He's one Clone Wars character I think needs to be done. But yeah, love the articulation on this guy. 
loving this, loving this rifle, this sort of two-handled. That just looks sick. I love that. Let's see, get that in his arm there. Gauntlets. We'll pop that back on. Got a cool flight stand or something. This would be a great one to pose. You know, get him holding this rifle with both hands. I'm not going to do it right now, but you know, just to give you an idea of that posability with the shoulder armor, that looks really good. There's a bit of flex in this, so you're not losing a lot of that softer sort of sort of chest piece they're using now with the sort of more agile posability of the figure underneath just allows for so much more good movement yeah I'm, I'm loving this guy so good look, looking so good definitely need another one <laughs> I'm saying that now that I've got one I need another just looks totally freaking cool love to have a couple of these you know get a little sharpie on on there and sort of add some more dings to the other one so they both don't look exactly the same if you get duplicates but yeah just a really nice looking bando so yeah I'd love to hear your thoughts folks please send out in the comments down below cool addition to the black series line digging it big time it's getting a nice pose it's not the most stable flooring here in the light box but that might be my uh, that be my, might be my thumbnail right there so I'm gonna roll with that thank you all very much for watching please again comment Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We'll see you again on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always.